So in this video, we're going to have a quick practice on while loops. Might be five minutes, ten minutes, could be fifteen. And I'll just explain again uh, what a loop is, and more specifically, what a while loop is. I believe I explained it before in my last video, but I found it quite nervous, and I think it was a poor explanation. Anyway, a loop in general in Python or any computer programming language is something that repeats itself uh, until it's told to stop repeating itself, or something stops it from repeating itself. So if I were to say the phrases uh, or the words, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing like that? That's a loop because I don't seem to be stopping. Now, if someone tells me to stop and I stop doing that, that has forced me to end my loop. So a loop is just a set of repeated actions or a repeated action. And that terminates when a condition is met that terminates. A while loop basically says, while something is true, da, 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 do this here. I dot e dot while condition is true, execute this code. So, for example, uh, we'll make a boolean, we'll call it less than a hundred and um, we'll say that's true for now and then we'll make a number which will be equal to zero okay and we'll say while uh, less than a hundred so while that's true that number is less than a hundred this loop will keep repeating itself and what it will do is it will print num and then it will make num equal to num plus one so this loop here will basically check will basically keep uh, printing this number out and it will keep adding one to this number here right infinitely until less than is not true okay oh sorry i need to define all that I'll just put all of that and unfortunately oh dear I've messed up there that needs to be an equals and not a plus sign I've accidentally hit shift we'll do that again and you see it's just infinitely printing numbers this is because less than 100 has not been declared false okay so what we want to do is we want this while uh, loop to stop executing when the number num this number here num is more than 99 so if num is more than 99 we will say that less than 100 is equal to false because less than 100 we're, we're going to assume is based on this number called num here. And so once this hits 100, which is more than 99, then this is now more than 100. And so it's not less than 99. So it being less than 99 is false. So I'll print that now. So we can just see how that works. And you'll see it's printed all up to 99. Okay. Now then, we are going to make another uh, another boolean and we're going to call it more than we'll say more than 99 less than 200 this is a very big uh, boolean by the way I wouldn't recommend uh, the variable name by the way I wouldn't recommend naming your variables like that and we'll put another while loop and we'll just add something here to this while loop so what we're going to do is the number is more than 99 we are not going to make this variable equal to true okay equals true all right so we're going to make that true and then we're going to say whilst that variable is true we're going to print number and we're going to make number 
equal to num plus one. I'm sorry about the uh, equal sign in the last one. It's just I flipped the shift key basically. If number is more than 200, uh, 199, sorry, then more than 99 less than 200 is equal to false, which will stop this loop. Let's run all of this. Let's see if there's any errors. Unexpected indent there. I'm not really sure why that is. I'll do that again. Ah, it's here. It's here. That's the indent. Yeah, there we are. And we have printed all the way to 199. So I'll just explain how that's worked and I'll change these algorithms to illustrate it better. The algorithms from 1 to 99 here have all been printed in this loop. And then once it hits more than 99, less than 100 is equal to false. And more than 99 less than 200 is equal to true. So this loop terminates. And then this loop here, because it's now true, this loop begins. And then once the number becomes more than 199, we don't print that number. We terminate this more than 99 less than 200. That now becomes false. And then because that's false and the condition of the loop is false, this loop terminates. It stops executing. Now, to make it more clear in my print statement, I'm going to print. I'm going to print. Less than 100 loop num is equal to plus str, which just means the string of. I'm just converting the integer here into a string. And basically, what I'm going to do for everything in this loop, I'm going to print that this loop is active and that num what the value of the number but as a string and we're just going to copy and paste this and we're going to essentially have exactly the same thing here except we're going to replace the less than 100 loop with the more than 99 less than 200 um, and when we print that you'll see exactly I mean, hope. Okay, so you see all these numbers that are more than 100, that are more than uh, 99, sorry. They're all part of the more than 99, less than 200 loop. Okay? And all these numbers here that are below 19, low 100, sorry, are in the less than 100 loop. Okay? So you can see how it's printed all the numbers in the less than 100 loop, which is 0 to 100, because number starts with value 0. Then this loop here terminates because less than 100 becomes false. And then this loop, now this more than 99 less than 200 becomes true. This while statement here checks if this is true. And if it is true, it continues to loop this until it becomes false. And then this last number that gets printed is 199. So it prints out 199. It then adds one to number. A number becomes equal to 200 which is more than 199 and this becomes false and so this doesn't execute okay if that didn't make sense to you i would suggest uh, listening to what i said a few times over and until it does but essentially that is a while loop and that's that's just how it's how its logic works we could we could do this uh, with another thing we could do this we could say hop equals no, cold, sorry, cold equals true. And we can have temp equals minus 12. Now, for those of you who are not in a country that uses Celsius, my country does use Celsius, and cold is going to be defined in Celsius, not in Fahrenheit. Okay, so we're going to say while cold print it's cold comma it's 
And then we're going to have the number. The temperature number. Celsius. Okay, so we're going to say it's cold, it's, and then we're going to say what the degree Celsius is in temp, and our character here who's speaking, our print statement, is going to say put the heating up, and we will put the heating up by 1 Celsius, so temp will then become equal to temp plus 1. Temp means temperature and not temporary, just to put that out there, and then we'll put if temp is more than 20 cold oops cold is capitalized that does make a difference because if I put that as a uh, as a lowercase letter this would have remained true because I would have been referring to a different variable that hadn't been uh, mentioned cold is not defined where have I put cold ah yeah done it there you see that won't work because cold wasn't defined okay Let's try again. So here we go. Keep saying that it's cold and it lists all the degrees Celsius until we put the heating up. So that's it, I'm afraid. That's more or less all I can think of at the top of my head now with while loops. Um, I hope you've written this down. If not, you probably should. And yeah, I'd encourage you to do uh, your own while loops and just see what you can come up with. Anyway, thanks for watching.